Well, good morning, good morning, good morning. This is the day that the Lord has made. We are rejoicing and we're glad therein. I'm so grateful, so thankful, so appreciative uh, for all that the Lord has done and all that he's going to do. And yes, ma'am, yes, sir. I agree with that song for sure. That I want the Lord to rain down on us, uh, to overflow us. Um, and man, we just want him just to send his rivers of love um, upon us, um, in us, and through us. And that's what Jesus said. Jesus said that um, it, it, the time coming and now is um, that, that those that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. And that we, uh, out of our bellies, uh, will flow rivers of living water. And we're so thankful. We're so thankful for that promise. Because that, that is what, as the mature saints say, that's what belongs to us. That's what belongs to us. That, that belongs to us. And we're, we're grateful for that. So thank you so much for for joining us uh, on our corporate, during our corporate prayer time. Uh, thank you for being committed to this time and this moment. I, I always want to encourage you to, man, make sure you share this. Share this with your friends and your families. Um, in particular, when the video and things come out, um, and in, even even before then, you can share with them the prayer flyer, um, the the number and all of that. Uh, man, I've learned when it comes down to people, especially if they're away from God or not really in right standings with God, most of the time they're not going to turn down prayer. Most of the time, and and there are people that are hurting, they're longing. Uh, man, they're, they're hurting and they, they, they're longing for something They're looking for something. And, and, and most of the time they, 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 they don't know what it is and they'll, they'll take prayer all day long. So invite someone to tune in with us, to, to call in with us, um, send the link to them. And you just don't know you could, the difference between someone's, um, salvation, uh, to someone's relationship. Uh, with God will be whether or not you, you know, the fact that you're inviting them uh, to tune in, to call in, and also to kind of listen to the prayer. So make sure you're doing that. So, Father, we thank you. We give you all of the praise. We give you all the glory. We give you all of the honor. We thank you, God, for this is a day that you made, a day that we made up in our minds to rejoice and to be glad therein. We're so thankful, so appreciative. Uh, God, so grateful for another opportunity, God, to be amongst the land of the living we're thankful, God, that you have allowed us to see another day, a day that we've never seen before and a day that we'll never, ever see again. And God, we are so grateful, God, that we're able to rise up, God, and we're able to call upon your name. We thank you, God, before many, many of us, before the S-U-N can, uh, can, can rise. Uh, you have, we, we rise and we, and we pray to the, to the S-O-N, to the Son of the living God. And we thank you for that. We thank you, God, to where we're able um, to set our morning. And God, not to where we're uh, commanding you to do anything or uh, no, 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 that's not what I believe. That's not what the scripture says. What, 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 what Job was saying, command, command the Lord. He really was asking a question, uh, but we can set our day uh, when it comes down to um, praise and comes to worship when it comes down to pulling down strongholds and casting down wicked imaginations uh, so we can be so intentional about prayer and so intentional about this worship moment god that where we um before we begin to go in with the hustle and bustle of our day uh for many of us uh during this time before we do this and before we do that god we can call on your name and god we can ask you god to to get involved in our day and god and we can uh route enemies and we can route devils and we can cancel the assignment of the enemy we can do that we can invite you god to be active and be involved in our lives and active and involved in lives of the individuals god that we that we know and we love and god we thank you for that privilege that honor god where we can be able to do so we give you glory we thank you, God, as we come humbly, but yet boldly before your throne of grace, that we can obtain mercy and find grace to help us in the time of need. We just simply, God, come to you, God, because we need you. We need you. That's why we're coming. Um, we need you, God. We, we need you in our lives. We need you um, present. We, we don't just come because we, we're asking for a, a blessing. We just don't come. Uh, they give me the limit to spare me. Can we borrow, please? That's not our motive. That's not our intention. We're just grateful for your presence. We're grateful that we can be amongst you. We're 
we're so grateful that, uh, that, that you desire to be involved in our lives. And because you can be involved in our lives, um, we, we come and we are intentional about asking you to do just that. So God, we thank you. Thank you for who you are to us. Thank you for being our friend that sticks closer than a brother. Uh, thank you for being our, our healer and being our, our rewarder, our shield and our buckler. Thank you, uh, for being the lifter up of our hung down head. Thank you for, uh, as, as, as Paul said, it's in you that we live. It's in you that we move. It's in you that we have our very being. We bless your name, um, God, because you are King of Kings and you are Lord of Lords. You are Alpha and Omega. You're the beginning and the ending. Uh, you are truly the first and the last. You are our everything. We bless your name this morning, uh, God, because you are, you are, you are our sustainer. Uh, you are the lily in the valley. You're the bright in the morning star. We, we thank you, God, because truly, as, as we say, uh, when we think about your goodness and all that you've done for us, then our soul cries out. Our soul cries out. Hallelujah. We thank you. God, because you have been so good. In fact, God, you've been better to us than we can ever be to ourselves. And, and, and for that, we tell you, thank you. Thank you, God, for, for your loving kindness, as David said, is better than life. Thank you, God, as Jeremiah said, for this I recall to my mind. Therefore, have I hope. It is of your mercies that we have not been consumed because your compassions, they fail not, but they are renewed towards us every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. You are a faithful God. You are a, a loving loving God. You are our compassionate God. You are, you are God that, 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 that doesn't get to the place to where you, you reach your, your, your limit when it comes to us. But no, we thank you for your unfailing love. We thank you, God, for your, for your love that's, that's past finding out. We thank you for your grace and your mercy, God, and your, your, your loving kindness, God, that you, that you show towards us. And for that, we tell you, thank you. We, we don't bask in your love. And we don't just, we don't just simply just, uh, we don't, we don't, we don't take for granted the fact that you are merciful and the fact that you're gracious because you do balance yourself with yourself. You are, you are a God of justice and a God of wrath at the same time, but we don't just take advantage of who you are. No, Paul said in Romans 6, 1, what, um, shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? God forbid. No, we're not just going to continue uh, to do our own thing and just look for you to be plenteous in grace and plenteous in mercy. But no, God, we thank you, God, because we can come to you. And God, we can call on your name and God, you'll, you'll clean us up. God, you'll wash us and God, you'll purge us, God, and you'll do all of those things. And for that, we tell you, thank you. We thank you, God. Not only will you wash us and cleanse us, but God, you'll give us the power. You'll give us the ability, God, to come out of some things. And that's what I pray this morning, right now, in the name of Jesus. I pray, God, for, for any and everything in all of our lives. I pray, God, that we won't be hindered. I pray, God, that we won't be plagued. I pray, God, that we will not be bound, God, in any ungodly situation, any situation that does not glorify you, any situation, God, that doesn't uh, lift you up, any situation, God, that does not uh, does not glorify your name, I pray, God, that we'll come out of it. I pray, God, that we will get to the place, God, that where you'll give us the strength and the ability, God, to be able to lay aside every weight and lay aside every sin that does so easily beset us, God, to where we'll be able to run um, this race with patience, God. I pray right now in the name of Jesus, God, that we won't have have any besetting sins in our lives, uh, those, those besetting sins, those things, God, that, that ensnare us and entangle us. And God, that just, that those things that just, just attach themselves to us. And, and we with no regard, with no remorse, with no, with no fight, uh, we just get ourselves, um, entangled and ensnared and, and entrapped in those things. But right now, in the name of Jesus, God, we pray that anything that's in our lives, whether, it, whether it be an, an, whether it be a, a part of our character, Sometimes, God, we, we can just be mean and nasty. Sometimes, God, we can just have a, a sharp tongue. Sometimes, God, we can just be, be angry. And sometimes, God, we can just be bitter. Sometimes, God, we can just be to the place, God, to where we just we just say whatever it is that we say out of our mouth. And for so long, God, we wore that as a badge of honor. And we not realize, God, that we're sinning against our brothers and sinning against our, our sisters. And, and more importantly, God, we're sinning against you, God. And we, just because we just... we, we 
we desire to say what we got to say and we get people straight and we go off on them at a drop of a hat and all these different things. And God, we, and we blame our short fuse, God, on us being just the way we are. And God, oftentimes those, that is besetting sins. And God, whether it's uh, got to do with our character, maybe some of us, um, you know, we, we're prone to lying. Sometimes I found out the people just, folk just lie just to lie. They don't even have a reason to lie. Just be lying. Just uh, making stuff up and just uh, like to hear themselves talking because it's like to hear ourselves talk. We just make stuff up and just be lying. And and some sometimes God, we 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 fabricate and we exaggerate. And sometimes we just do things, God. That's not that's not that's not glorifying you with our speech, God. Using profanity and and just uh, using words, God. That does not minister grace to the hearers. But God, we pray uh, whatever those besetting sins are. Not, it's not just smoking dope like we try to make it be, but not just drink. Uh, but those things are, are are besetting as well for some. But God, there's some of us that are flying under the radar. There's some of us that are a little 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 hid in the weeds, God, to where we got all these different things in our heart and our mind, and we can allow come out of our mouth, and we think that we got it we got it made made in the shade because we don't do this and we do don't, don't do that. But I pray God that everything, God. That's a part of our lives that doesn't glorify you. Any and everything, God, that does not exhort you and magnify you. I pray, God, that you'll, that you'll wash us, God, with your hyssop and purge us with your righteousness. We don't want anything, God, that, that's a part of our lives or anything that's a part of our character, God, that that'll be beyond the reach of sanctification. But right now, in the name of Jesus, God, we ask you to reach it. We ask you, God, to allow your blood, God, to flow over it. We ask you, God, to allow your power to flow over it. We pray, Right now, in the name of Jesus, God, that you'll just do what you do in the name of Jesus. You, we ask you, God, to, to, to touch us and to strengthen us, God, and to, and just do what you do, God, that we'll, we'll be able, God, to be able to come out from among them, as you said in your word, God, and we'll be separate in all those areas in our lives. We will not be entangled. We will not be ensnared. We will not be impaired. We will not be crippled, God, by any part of our character, God, by any habit, God, by any vice, God, whether it be uh, cigarettes and nicotine, whether it be be um, uh, crack cocaine, whether it be weed, whether it be drink, God, whether it be meth, whether it be what, what, whatever that thing is, whether it be narcotics and whether it be pills and well, all, all these things, God, that we get hooked on. I pray right now in the name of Jesus, God, that you set your people free. That's what prayer is. Prayer is, God, we're coming to you and we're asking you, God, I don't know who's on this call. I don't know who's listening to this prayer. I don't know who's listening to this replay, but God, I, but right now, God, in the name of Jesus, whatever that thing is, and maybe I didn't name their thing, but whatever their thing is, God, I pray, God, that we just don't listen to this prayer, but I pray, God, that we'll get active in this prayer, and God, will allow this prayer to be a part of who we are and be a part of what it is, God, that you're desiring to do in our lives, and God, you'll give us the ability and give us the anointing, God, to be able, God, to, to walk in freedom, to walk in deliverance in the name of Jesus. We thank you for freedom now. We thank you, God, for the grace, God, the divine enablement, not just your, not just your, uh, your unmerited favor, but God, your divine enablement. You've given us the strength. You've given us the ability, God, to be able to come out of whatever we need. We'll say that we don't have the strength. We'll say we don't have the ability. We'll say, God, we don't have the will to, the want to, the desire to. Oh, but the devil is a lie, God, because you've given us grace. And God, we thank you for God because Titus 2.11 said the grace of God have appeared to all men. And God, it have taught us, God, how to how to deny ungodliness, how to, how to, how to walk away, God, this lifting to you, how to live a way, God, that's edifying you. Thank you for the grace, God, that's appeared unto us, God. God's riches at Christ's expense. Thank you for the grace, God, that is shared, shared abroad on the hearts and the minds of, of, of your people, God, that we'll, we'll be able to, to, to love for you, God, and be able to honor you, and God, be able to live for you, and we thank you for it in the name of Jesus. We got the ability. Thank you, God, for the ability. Thank you, God, for the strength. Thank you uh, for, for what it is, God, that you've given us, God, that where we can be able to, to grow from anything, God, to come out of anything. And for that, we tell you, thank you. No longer, God, will we make excuses. No longer, God, will we just continue, God, to just bask in, wallow in, um, and lie in. But God, no, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to use, God, the ability that you've given us, God, and we're going to get up and we're going to come out. That's the difference, God, between a sheep and the difference between the pig, God, a, 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 a sheep, when a sheep falls in mud, um, God, they, 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 they struggle to get out of 
out of the mud. When the, when the pig falls in the mud, the pig wallows in the mud. The pig is right at home, uh, in the mud. And, and God, the difference is their nature. The difference is God, that the, that the, that the sheep is in his nature. They get out of the mud and the, and the pig's nature is for, they get into the mud and to stay in the mud. It looks for the mud. It longs for the mud. It's got to be in the mud. It gets cool in the mud. And, and God, we pray right now in the name of Jesus, God, that, that maybe someone uh, that's listening to this prayer, listening to this replay, and, and maybe uh, their, their nature has not been changed. And that's why they find themselves wallowing and wallowing and wallowing in the mud. What do I mean? Nature has not been changed. Sometimes, God, we're just religious at best. Sometimes, God, we're around the things of God. Sometimes, God, we, we, we dial into prayer. Sometimes we go to the king, to the, to the king, we go to the house of God. Sometimes we do all those religious things as we talked about on Sunday. That's one of the enemies of the local church. It is religion, just always doing things and just doing it because I know it's Wednesday. We, I know we got to pray because I know it's Sunday and I go to church and all that. That's just religious habit. But God, you're not looking for me to do something out of habit. You're looking for me to do God out of relationship because we have a relationship with you, God. And some of us just never, never gotten saved. Some of us just need to be saved. Some of us need to give trust you with our heart and our mind. It's not about what we do for you, but it's about uh, what, what you did for us. And God, we just got to put our trust and our, and our hope in you, God, the way we won't be like that fig tree that, that, that's, that, that's taking up all that good soil and taking up all that good dirt and taking up all that good sunlight and all that good nutrients and all that good water, but not producing any fruit. But God, we pray in the name of Jesus, God, that we'll be fruit producers. We pray in the name of Jesus, God, that we will exemplify the fact, God, that you've been good to us. You put us in that good soil. We get good word, God. We get good worship. We get good prayers, God. We, we've been nurtured, God. And, and we've been, we've been, we've been, we, you, you've given us everything that we need, God, to produce. And we pray, God, that we'll do just that. And we pray, God, that when we get in the mud, God, as a sheep, a sheep whose nature has been changed, a sheep who's a child of God, a sheep who has received your word and received, uh, your, your favor. When, when, the, when the sheep gets in the mud, God, you, you, do something for us, God, and we, and, and God, we, we try to, we struggle to get out of that thing, so I pray right now in the name of Jesus, every sheep, uh, God, you said in your word that my sheep, John 10, you said my sheep know my voice, and a stranger they will not follow, God, we, we thank you for you are Jehovah Roa, which means that you are the Lord, our shepherd, thank you uh, for being our shepherd, thank you, uh, God, that when we, when we, when we, when we, that you'll lead us beside the pass of, uh, you'll lead us beside the, 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 the calming war. You'll lead us in paths of righteousness. You, you'll lead us in the place, God, to where we'll be able to have all the, the green grass that we need and the water that we need. And, the, and you, you'll anoint our head with oil, God, to where, to where the, the gnats and the bugs, God, won't, won't, won't pester us to death, God. And the, and the thorns and the briars, God, won't cut us on our face when we're going through all of the, the, little, th the little thorny, patchy, patchy areas, God. You will, you will anoint our head with oil, God. You, you'll, you'll anoint us in a way, God. The way, the way the enemy can't grab a hold of us. And God, even when we get ensnared and attached, God, you'll, you'll snatch us out. And I pray right now in the name of Jesus for everyone under the sound of my voice, God, that you'll snatch, you'll snatch us out right now in the name of Jesus. Any, any ungodly situation, we pray, God, that you'll snatch us out. Any situation, God, that's not like you, God, that doesn't glorify you, that doesn't magnify you. I pray, God, that we'll, we'll get, we'll get, we'll, we'll have the desire to want to come out. And we have the desire to want to get snatched out. We have the desire to want to get pulled out and we thank you for it in the name of Jesus thank you God for your grace and your mercy and your love and your compassion thank you oh God the way you are the way you are a snatching out type of God, the way you won't leave us um, vulnerable. You won't leave us in where we are, but God, you'll pull us. And right now, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for it. We thank you, God, the where, the where, the where you're going to snatch us out, God, where we're going, we're called to produce, God. We're called, we're, we're obligated to produce, God. If we're your children, we pray, God, for, for that, for that fruit, God, to be evident in our lives, that love and that joy and that peace and that patience and that, that, that long suffering, that temperance, God, 
that self-control. We thank you, God, that we'll be called to produce, God. That's not that's not a, a, a thing that's supposed to be evident on the lives of the preachers and the evident on the lives of the people that, 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 that do this and that do that. But no, God, that's supposed to be evident in all of our lives. God, you called us to be able to produce. And we pray, God, that all of that fruit, God, will be visible in our lives. We want somebody to be around us and be able to see that, oh, that, 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 that woman right there, she loves God. That woman right there, she's so patient. That woman right there, oh, she, she, she's, she can deal with a lot. Yeah, she got long suffering. She, she, she has self control. And God, we pray that that's evident on all of our lives. Just say that woman there, that brother there. And God, the, the way we won't, we won't live that way so people just can say that. But God, we live that way, God, so people can say that. And so when they say that to us and they say, how can you do this? And how are you able to do so? And why are you so this? And why are you so that? We'll be able to say, oh, it's because of the love of God. It's because Jesus Christ is a part, uh, 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 not a part of my life, but he is my life. And God, we thank you for that. We give you glory. And we give you honor, God, for you radically changing our lives, God. Even that's what prayer is. Prayer is, God, that we're, we're building up on our most holy faith. And we're praying in Holy Spirit, God. And as we pray, God, you're building us up. As we as we pray, God, you're lifting us up. As we pray, God, you're encouraging us, God. As we pray, God, you're giving us what it is that we need, God, where we can be able to run our own, God, and see what the end going to be even in this day. And God, I pray, God, as, as even at this moment, God, that you'll lift your people up. Lift us out of our discouragement, God, as, we, as we're praying. Lift us uh, out of our defeatism mindset, God. Lift us, God, out of forever being the victim. Lift us, God, out of feeling all all defeated all the time, God, in this life, we just can't make it. It just feel like things won't ever work out. And oftentimes, God, because, because we've seen certain results over, over, over the course of our life and over the course of our, uh, even our time with you, God, we've seen different negatives and negative things and we've experienced different negative things. God, we just feel like things are always going to be negative and we always look at things, the glass half empty. We always look at things, uh, and we have a pessimistic mindset, God, because we've gone through so much and we've experienced so much, God, and we've been so disappointed. Oh, but I pray right now in the name of Jesus, God, the way you'll turn that thing around. And I pray, God, that we'll put people around us, accountability people, that God, when we go talking negative, when we go start uh, speaking death over our situation and speaking death over our, over our lives, say, oh, I'll never do this. And, oh, I'll never have that. And, oh, well, this not going to happen. And, well, that ain't going to happen. And just, we just, we'd be so negative and, and be canceling our, 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 our harvest before we get it. I pray, God, that you'll put people around us and tell us, no, 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 don't say that. No, don't, don't cancel it. Don't, don't cancel uh, your harvest. Don't, don't say what's not going to happen. We pray in the name of Jesus, God, that we'll speak life over, over our situation and we'll speak life, God, over our relationships and we'll speak life over our children and we'll speak life, God, over our finances. We'll speak life, God, over our health and we'll speak life, God, over our mental state and we'll speak life, God, over our ministries. We'll speak life, God, over everything that we do, God, and we'll say, oh, the Lord is going to add. The Lord is going to bless. It hadn't happened yet. Oh, I'm, I'm working on my testimony. I'm in between miracles. I'm in between blessings. God, we pray, God, that you'll change our, our vernacular and change our language, God, that we won't be limited, God, by, by always speaking negative. But no, God, we'll, we'll speak your word, God, and we'll speak your power and we'll speak, God, what it is that you're desiring to do in the name of Jesus, God, that we will not be affected by, we're not, we're not talking about having our head in the proverbial sand and just having our head in the clouds and just saying, oh, we're just looking for that to happen and oh, we want that to happen and all of that. Is walking around all gullible and naive. That's not what I'm speaking to. But God, I'm speaking to you, speaking your word. God, and speaking and speaking to you, having faith in you. That's what you put on our heart this past Sunday. God, to have faith in you. Not faith in our faith, not faith in our circumstances, not faith in people. But God, to have faith in you. And God, when we got faith in you, we know without a shadow of a doubt, God, that you're going to move. When our faith is in you, we know without a shadow of a doubt, God, that you're always up to something. When we got faith in you, God, we know without a shadow of a doubt, God, that you're able, oh, to do exceeding abundantly above all we can ever ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. We give your name the glory and the honor, God. We got faith in you. We got trust in you. We got depend our dependency, God, is in you and is on you, God, and we believe you. That's what that's what speaking faith is all about. God, that we, we have faith in God, the unchangeable God. Have faith in God, the all-knowing God. Have faith in God, the, the all-wise God. Have faith in God, 
God, the all, all powerful God. Our faith is in you, God. Some men trust in chariots and some men trust in horses. Oh, some men in our modern day, some men trust in Teslas and some men trust in Mercedes and Lexus and, uh, and some men trust in, in, in airplanes and, 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 and in our bank account. Some men trust in, in who they know and who they, who can hook them up and who can, who can bail them out of their financial woes and struggles. But God, we're going to, we're going to put our trust in the name of the Lord. And God, that's why our trust is. It's not in who we know as relates to a person, but God is who we know as relates to you. We got faith in you and we thank you for it in the name of Jesus. And I pray right now in the name of Jesus, every person, God, that's going through mentally, every person, God, that's going through emotionally, every person, God, that feels like they're in the season of depression, God, maybe they're dealing with some things. I pray, oh God, that you'll lift us. I pray, God, that you'll break us out. I pray, God, that before we be broke down, God, you'll give us a breakthrough and we thank you for the deliverance, God. We thank you, God, for the healing. We thank you, God, for all that you're doing and all that you've done in the name of Jesus. You are our strength and you are our hope. We give your name the glory, the honor, and the praise. Thank you for all that you've done and thank you for all that you're going to do, God. You are our helper. You are our deliverer. And God, we thank you, God, for giving us not, not, you have not given us the spirit of fear. Oh, but God, you're giving us power, love, and a soundness of mind. Your people are going through some things. God, I, and I, I just know the tip of the iceberg. I, I, I would talk, I've been talking and I'm talking and I talk to people, God, and I engage people and I text people and I, and maybe have phone conversations with people, God. You, your, your people are going through some things, God, and, and, and God, as, 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 but we pray in the name of Jesus, you will intervene. We pray in the name of Jesus, God, the way you will, the way you'll, 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 you'll be a part, God, of what it is that, that, that's, that's, that's causing, uh, causing them to feel some type of way mentally and feeling de depressed and all of these different emotions that we have. We thank you, God, that we'll be able to tap into you. And God, when we tap into you, God, you'll give us what it is that we need, God, to be able, uh, not to walk in defeat and not to walk in being overwhelmed and not to walk in God being, being, being feeling like there's no hope, but God, we can be able to tap in you. And God, you'll be able to, to give us the strength and give us what it is that we need, God, to be able to call God, to be able to call down, God, all these things is in our mind. That's what, that's what, the, that's what the, 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 really the key is, God. It is in our, it's in our spiritual warfare. It's in our, us knowing that even though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh for the weapons of our warfare. They're not carnal, but they're mighty through you, through the pulling down of every stronghold, to the casting down of every wicked imagination. And God, I pray right now in the name of Jesus, Jesus, God, that we'll pull that stuff down. We will not just sit there and think about those things and stew on those things and, and stew on all of the negative conversations and what this person said back in the day and what this person is doing even right now. But God, we'll pull it down in the name of Jesus, God, the way you've given us the ability to pull down every stronghold, cast down every wicked imagination. God, we will not allow, God, someone to live in our head rent free. We will not allow, God, just to keep on thinking about them and keep on chasing them and keep on uh, worried about what they're doing and all these types of things. But God, we thank you for the ability that you've given us. God, that we can pull it down and snatch it down in the name of Jesus. We give you glory and we give you honor and we give you praise, God, because you've given us the victory that way. We thank you, God, as the people of God, even as you have us praying and have us have us interceding, God. We and this is this is something that we pray and this is even what we're we're in the vein praying for. Our target it is we're praying that as a local church, Truth and Love Ministry will will be committed to evangelism. God, we pray that no matter what it is that we experience and go through, God, we'll always keep the main thing the main thing. And God, we will not get so defeated and we'll not get so wrapped up in our own situation and so wrapped up in our own circumstances that we forget about we're supposed to be working for you. We forget about God. We're supposed to be doing what we do for you. We won't get so caught up, God, and, and, and all of the, the hustle and bustle, God, and how we made ourselves so busy. We've caused ourselves, God, to, 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 to get these, to get all these jobs and we've caused ourselves, God, to get involved in all these extracurricular activities. We've caused ourselves, God, to sign up for this and sign up for that and, and be involved in this and be involved in that. And God, we forget about our purpose. Our purpose is not to be all tied up on, on folk job. Our purpose is not just to, be, uh, just to stack up money and trying to have this and have that. That's not our purpose. Our purpose, God, is to, is to obey you. Our purpose, God, for being here, God, is to, is to worship you. Our purpose, God, is to glorify you. And God, not to glorify ourselves, not to work the way we can be able to have some kind of security and we can have some type of this and have some 
some of that. But no, God, our purpose is to lift you up. And I pray right now in the name of Jesus, God, the way you'll give us what it is that we need. God, the way we're able, God, to be able to lift you up and to be able to magnify you and to be able to exalt you and to be able to do that, God, in a way that we're always mindful, God, of sharing our faith. And we're always mindful, God, of, of, of praying for people. There's, there's folk on, uh, uh, again, God, I, I'm, I'm talking about the people of God that are going through some things. And God, we're going through some things and we got an outlet. We're going through some things and we got the word. We're going through some things, God, and we got somebody that we can pray for, that can pray for us. But God, what about the folk on our job? What about our family members that just, they're just away from the things of God? What about the, what about the ones that are backslidden? And not only do they, not only is life beating them down, but their mind is beating them down and their, their, their guilt is beating them down and all these different things. God, we, I pray in the name of Jesus, God, that we'll be your ambassadors, that we'll go into the world with a mindset, God, not that we just trying to go to work so we can make our day and go through our little time and, and do all of that. No, our mindset, God, will be mission minded, God, that when we're going to work, God, we're looking for somebody to pray with. When we're going to work, God, we're looking to be able to encourage somebody. When we're going to work, we're looking to God to be able to, to say, who is it? God, send somebody our way, put something, let somebody cross our path that we can encourage today, that we can give them the word of the Lord today. God, and even if we don't have chapter and verse, God, we can be able to, we're, we're sending them link. Oh girl, let me, let me send you the link from, from this past Sunday's message. Let me, let me send you the link from this prayer that we had today. Uh, and, and let me, let me, let me, let me put, let me die in. Let me put you connected so you can be able to do this and do that. God, I pray God that that be our mindset, not just trying to avoid people and not talk to people. Some of us don't like, we, we, we try to say, we claim we introvert, but we don't, we don't, we, and we, we so introvert God that we don't obey you. We so introvert God that we don't do what it is, God, that you desire for us to do in our lives. And we thank you, God, for, for you getting a part of us and getting a hold of us, God, and you and you you snatching us and saying that we're committed. We're supposed to be committed to evangelism. We're supposed to be committed, God, to being able to reach out to people. We're supposed to be committed to praying for them and committed, God, to be able to let our light so shine and let our lives be so live, God, that where you get the glory and the honor and the praise, God, of, out of everything we do. And God, we thank you for it in the name of Jesus. We thank you for stirring us up. We thank you, God, for, for pushing us, God, out of our confidence, pushing us out of our complacency and pushing us, God, where we're not at ease in Zion, but God, you're pushing us and propelling us, God, into purpose. And God, yeah, we don't got to come to, come to the house of the Lord on Sunday morning. And yeah, we don't got to come to, on Thursdays. That, that, that's not, that's not, that's not, that's that. Uh, we don't have to come to do the work of the ministry is where I'm getting. But God, we, 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 we supposed to be doing the work of the ministry, God, on Monday, on Tuesday, on Wednesday, on Thursday, on Friday, on Saturday. Oh yeah. And on Sunday. God, the way we're supposed to be committed, God, to doing the work of the ministry. We come to get fueled up, fired up, fueled up. God, the way you can be able to speak to your people. And we thank you for that. We give you glory and honor and praise. And God, we thank you, God, because you're strengthening our marriages, God. And you're causing our marriages, God, to be glory, to glorify you. You're causing our marriages, God, to be able to be to the place, God, to where, uh, to where we're able to exemplify what it is that you're desiring to do. I pray, God, for our marriages. I pray that you give all of us as husbands, you give us eyes only for our wives. I pray, God, for all of us as husbands, God, that you'll call us, call us to be madly in love with our wives. And God, we will, we will love them and be patient with them, God, and be forgiving and be loving and be patient and be forgiving, God. And we'll be loving and we'll be patient and we'll be forgiving. And oh yeah, God, I pray as, as husbands, we'll be loving and we'll be patient and we'll be forgiving, God. We don't call them out of their name and we don't call them female dogs and we don't call them stupid and we don't call them, uh, th this, these names, this and that. No, those are our queens, God, and we ought to speak over their lives, and we ought to, we ought to speak encouragement over them, God. And I pray in the name of Jesus, God, that we'll, we'll, we'll look to serve them and look to God to take away their, their pain and look to God to be able to cater to them and look to God to be not, not the, not the, not the handicap them. But look to God to be the, the, those, 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 those that be the role in their lives, God. That way we can be able to take away all the pressure and take away all the stresses we possibly can, God, in the, in the, in the, in the, in the lives of our wives. And we thank you for men of God that are, that are to, to the forefront, that's stepping up and stepping out, God, and doing what it is you call us to do. We thank you for our wives, God, that build up their husbands and, and build up their homes and, and build up their children. 
And I pray, God, for every wife, God, that you'll, that you'll cause them, God, to, to be in a posture of submission, God, and not just be running their mouths and saying this and saying that and nagging and complaining and fussing and all of that. But we thank you for, for, for kingdom women, God, that, that understand how critical it is, God, to, to be as, 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 as Peter told us, God, how we can win them without words, God, and we can be able to, to be able to do what needs to be done in our homes, God, and not have to nag and complain and fuss all the time, God. But we yeah, can be to the place, God, that we can be wholesome in our speech and wholesome in our talk, God, and be godly women. And we thank you for it in the name of Jesus. But we know it's not about the outward, but God, it's about the inward beauty, God. And I pray, God, that you'll build up all of our wives, God, and with that inward beauty, that they exemplify the love and the patience, God, and the grace, God, that you so desire for them to exemplify. We thank you for our marriages, God, that where they're glorifying you. We thank you for every single, God, that where you are causing every single, God, to be able to embody whole. Wholeness, God, that we're, 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 we're whole, God, now, God, we're, 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 we're complete now, God, because, because Christ completes us and Christ makes us whole. And God, we thank you for the wholeness, God, that can only be found in you and the completeness that can only be found in you. And I'm not looking for a day and looking for a, a soulmate and looking for a, a individual to complete me, but no, it, I, I'm complete and we stand complete in you, God. And we thank you for it in the name of Jesus. Thank you for the spirit of patience. God, the way we're going to wait on you and we're going to trust you, God, and we're going to look to you, God, and we're not going to get ahead of you and we're not going to go around you and we're not going to go underneath you. We're not going to try to go above you, but God, we're going to be where we are, God, and we're going to maximize where we are in the season that we are. And God, we're not going to get caught up, God. We're not going to get caught up in, in, the, in, in, the, in the having sex and we're not going to get caught up, God, in giving our body away. We're not going to get caught up, God, in the, in the extracurricular activity, God, that doesn't have anything to do with you. We're not going to get caught up in the shacking and get caught up, God, in adultery and all these different things, but God, we're going to wait on you. And God, we trust, God, that you're doing it in the hearts and the mind of every single. And God, we cover our babies in prayer. God, we ask you to be with them as they're going back to school and they're back to school, rather. I pray, God, that you'll be with our babies and let your blood cover, God. I heard the woman of God testified just yesterday, God, about how you dropped in her spirit, just simply the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood. And God, and, and, and little, little did she know, God, that, 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 that same morning, God, that someone near and dear to her in her life, God, was gonna, was gonna be involved in a very serious accident. And the accident actually took somebody out. But God, you, you had, you dropped in her spirit, uh, to pray for the blood and you, and you dropped her in her spirit, that individual. And God, and we believe, I, I believe, God, that it was, it was, it was the fact, God, that, that it was those prayers, God, that covered that individual. It was the fact that God, we just pleaded the blood and God, even as we're praying now and we're seeing faces and people and, and, and all those things, God, you, you, you cause people to drop in our spirit, not just, uh, not just, oh, we was thinking about them, but no, God, when you drop somebody in our spirit, we're supposed to pray for them and, and we don't know what they need and all of that. And we, don't sense that we just simply do what the woman of God did. Oh, the blood, the blood, the blood. We got to plead the blood of Jesus over them. God, be with them. Have mercy on them. God, uh, protect them and, and do that. God, we pray right now when the name of Jesus, that you'll do that for our babies, God, where you'll cover them and, and you'll, you'll watch over them, God, and you'll keep them from the rapers and the pedophiles and the molesters and keep our babies, watch over our babies in the name of Jesus. Thank you for the blood of Jesus over our grands and our nieces and our nephews, God. Thank you for the blood over, over their schools, God, there won't be no shootings, God. Thank you for the blood over our place of employment, God, there won't be any, nothing will happen or break out, but God, you'll protect us, God, from all hurt, harm and danger and incidents and accidents. Watch over our babies in the name of Jesus. When we can't be with them, God, you can. Don't let no one touch them. Don't let no one steal their innocence. Don't let no one violate them. But we pray in the name of Jesus, you'll watch over our babies. No stray bullets, God. No attack, no attacks, no assaults, God. But God, you will, you'll, you'll cover our babies and we thank you in advance. And as I told the woman of God, that we, we, we won't get to heaven. We'll, we, we'll be in heaven before we realize how powerful and how potent our prayers were. Uh, that where we stopped so many deaths and stop so many drive-bys and we we stop so many different things, God, because you said in your word that you're looking for somebody to stand in the gap. That's why you drop them in our spirit, God, because you desire to get involved, but God, you you restrict it that you don't get involved until we ask you. So God, you'll drop them in our spirit and tell us to pray for them, and God, so you can be able to get involved in their lives. And we ask you to get involved, God, in the name of Jesus, and we thank you. 
All of our, all of, all that you're doing in Truth and Love Ministries, continue to do what you do. Continue to allow the vision to unfold. Continue to sing your people. Continue, God, not just to sing your people. Let your people be strengthened and encouraged and advanced, God, as relate to being connected to Truth and Love. Thank you for the vision coming to pass. And we got ample resources enough and ample, uh, servants enough. And we got everything that we need, God, to be able to bring you maximum glory and honor. Thank you that we got facility enough. Thank you, God, that we got everything, God, that what that you desire for us to have. God, we thank you that we got it in advance and we give you glory and honor and praise. I thank you for my wife. I ask you to continue to touch her. Lady C, I ask you to touch her from the crown of her head to the sole of her feet. Camilla Jean Nesbitt. Her mama didn't name her, Lady C, so I'm going to call out her name specifically. Camilla Jean Nesbitt. I ask you to touch her and strengthen her and heal her. God, and continue to anoint her and be with her in the name of Jesus. Thank you for my babies, Asharia, Kendall, Carson, C4. I ask you to be with them and God, don't allow the enemy to see his desire on their lives, God, because when the enemy comes at me, God, and he can't get to me, he'll try to get to them, but God, I pray, God, that you'll protect them and be with them, God, allow your plan and your purposes for their lives to be fulfilled in the name of Jesus, and I thank you, God, for this day, God, as we go throughout this day, I pray, God, that you'll allow us to be anointed and appointed, God, to be able to do what you called us to do, I pray even for those individuals that are traveling back and forth to work, and even our truck drivers out there on that road even now, uh, I pray that you'll cover them and be with them, God, and keep them from incidents and accidents. I pray you'll keep them sober and keep them vigilant, God. Let their eyes be on the road, God, to where they won't be they won't be distracted, God, and you'll you'll keep them, God, uh, in a place of vigilance, God, even as they're driving and doing what they do. And we give you glory and we give you honor and we give you praise. And, and as you said in your word, this is the confidence that we have in you. If we ask anything according to your will, God, you said we can have it. And God, we thank you for it because we know we've been praying your word and we've been trusting your word. And I pray, God, even as you drop it in my spirit, I got to pray for, for this. And I pray for individuals that are in the hospital, uh, Sister Evans' um, daughter who's in the hospital fighting for her life. God, it looks like you, it looks like you doing what you do. Uh, when, when, when it looked one way, it looked like you're doing something else. And I ask you, God, just to continue to touch her and strengthen her and raise her up and heal her, God, and just do what you do according to your plan and your purpose, God. And, and I, we ask you, every person that's in the hospital and every person that's been going through things. God, I pray, God, that you'll heal and you'll deliver and you'll set free in the name of Jesus. We thank you for it. And individuals that are hurting and grieving, the uh, the, the Perkins family, God, is getting ready to prepare and to say, uh, see you later to Brother Perkins this Saturday, God. I, I pray, God, that you'll be with that family and touch Mama Thomas, God, and strengthen and, and your help and all of the families that's grieving and hurting and going through uh, pain and all of the ones that have experienced death recently and not just recently, God, all of them that's experiencing the grief and the hurt and the pain ask you to do what you do. And we thank you in advance, God, because we know you're going to do it. And we give you glory and honor and praise. And it's in Jesus' matchless name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Well, I thank God for your truth and love, nation. I appreciate your faithfulness and your commitment to this time of prayer. And even as uh, and even as we're we're praying, man, and as we're I'm um, doing what we do, man. When be mindful when people drop in your heart and in your spirit, even as I was about to close out, and I and I and I, and I saw I saw the faces of, of of the individuals in the hospital and that family, and so I mean, God wants us to pray for people, man. So and He just doesn't do that. He just doesn't do that for the pastor. He do that for all of us because uh, He desires for us to pray for them, those individuals. So uh, continue just to do what you do and stand in the gap, man. Thank you for your faithfulness and your commitment to the things of God. Uh, of course, continue to flow and continue to do what you do. Tonight, uh, we're going to have our uh, discipleship development class. What a, what a jewel we have. Um, as, and man, you can be equipped and be empowered uh, to be the disciple of the Lord Jesus Christ who called you to be. And then tomorrow, of course, at 12 noon, we're picking off a brand new series. I went on and settled on what it is we're going to do. We're going to begin, uh, and, uh, walk through the book of the gospel according to John. And so we're going to, we're going to go jump in the New Testament and jump on one of the most powerful, um, books of the Bible that we have on uh, the gospel of John. So I, I, I invite you, uh, to, to join us in person if you're available. Um, but if not, just, uh, check out the, the live stream. It'll be up. It's up forever. So check that out and don't get left behind. Maybe you got left behind in the book of Judges, but don't get left behind in the book of, book and, and, and the gospel according to John. All right. And so, and then also tomorrow night, our singles are going to be together at 7 p.m. on tomorrow. It's going to be absolutely phenomenal. Um, come on, come on, tell 
tell a single, invite a single as the announcement say, and come and be a part of what it is that God is doing um, in the single ministry, salt ministry, what we're doing life together. Um, and God has given us tools and keys to be able to just to be better. And then Friday night, man, don't you can't say you're part of a, don't say you're part of our ministry and you don't got nothing to do. Man, we we rolling you all and we're on all cylinders on Friday night. We having the encounter with our um the artists formerly known as the Millennials, our TLC Young Adult Ministry. They're gonna be coming worshiping and invite a young person. I was just talking to somebody last night and they were telling me about their daughter need to get plugged in, getting involved. Invite a young person to be involved to come, not not kids, um, but young adults to be a part of that worship, man. And that that right there will be the difference between somebody really catching on fire and being a part of the things of God when they get involved in a worship moment like that. So invite your your your, your, your grown children, uh, your your sons, your daughters, your nieces, your nephews, your cousins, your grand children, invite them out uh, to be a part of that worship experience. It's going to be prayer and worship, prayer and worship, prayer and worship, and invite somebody to be a part. All right, that's enough of my infomercials for today. Man, I thank God for you. I love y'all. I see you. Make sure you post on group, man. I'll talk to you later. Love you. Peace out. Bye-bye. Here come the church.